gamers. So since I needed to reinstall Flash on my new PC, I figured why not just make a tutorial, right Banjo? Banjo says okay to that uh, by looking at Kazooie as usual. So this tutorial is gonna go over the basics of Flash and um, tell you how to install Flash, which is actually legal. Uh, it's totally free as well uh, because Flash is no longer really supported, which means that you can just get it for free now. So download links will be in the description. All right, here it is. It should pop up right here. And let's uh, open it up. Mm, yes. All right. So no. <laughs> so as you can see, it's right here. And uh, all we need to do is just press it. Uh, we're gonna put it on uh, Banjo's beautiful nose right here. And just Posters. oh. <coughs> so it's gonna install this stuff here. Uh, welcome to the Install Shield Wizard for Macromedia Flash MX 2004. Yeah, 2004. <laughs> Internet Explorer. Uh oh. Now, I never read these things, but I always scroll the thing down. Macromedia Flash Player for Internet Explorer? No. Macromedia Flash Player for Netscape? No. I wish there was a button to install it for Google Chrome. Rip uh, Flash. Mac uh, f uh, uh. And now it's going to install. I'll just give it a few seconds. Um. Banjo's excited face says it all. Um, it's not installing, what the- oh. This is taking quite a bit. Sorry if most of the video footage is really zoomed in. There we go, jeez, that took long. Sorry if most of the video footage is really zoomed in. I don't want to show my desktop too much. Plus you get to see Banjo's glorious face in more detail. Like, why, why wouldn't you want that? That's an installer, all right. Uh, that's how- that's what an installer does. Uh, being slow. It's still stuck at 80%. What's it doing? <laughs> it's downloading all of this stuff, but... Wow, is that my very first voice crack on this channel? I hope so. It's downloading all this stuff, but it's at 80%. Okay, now it's just downloading nothing. That's nice. I don't get these things, right? Oh, nice. I don't want to read the meat file. So now that you have it installed, you can smash this out of existence like you smashed the like button um, on this channel. <laughs> Why am I saying this stuff? This is really bad for my health. We're gonna just drag this over to the desktop. So now that we got a Macromedia Flash in here, let's put it on his nose once again. We can go in it, and as you can see right here, it won't start up. What the heck? Oh, we probably need to run this as administrator. Yes. Now we just need to enter the serial number in the description below. Oh, which is right here. Hey, it's good. It's good. New help content is available. Wow. I will be my own help content. Thank you very much. One thing you have to keep, uh, have to keep remembering is if you move the toolbar. Wait, it actually works. It actually works. How does this work? Is this an advanced version of Macromedia Flash? What am I looking at right now? Yes, there we go. I crashed it. Uh, it does the Crash Bandicoot spin. And kills itself. I would just recommend you remove this help by right clicking and close panel. Uh, as well as the actions, you won't be needing it that much. Uh, all of these components, you can close all of them up. You want to go to a uh, library. You want to have that in there because if you don't, I. Uh, that's no. Oh, uh, what am I doing? I'm adding more libraries. What? I opened too many libraries. I am a smart boy. Now, what we want to do, I... Oh, dude, we just... Okay, <laughs> let's start again. So now if you've removed the components, you want to press Control L. And there it is. <laughs> yeah, I added too many libraries. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then the properties up here. Save this gamer as... Um underscore 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 you want to do the underscore so it will be on the very top of all of your projects uh let's save this to our desktop real quick and then we're gonna call it uh whatever you want um i'm gonna call it asdf movie gamer because i'm a gamer because i watch asdf movie wait did that th did that say sense you want to just press the frame break double click it and you'll get to this. And we're gonna just change the dimensions to 1920 by 
1080. And we're gonna change the background color to a bit of a darker color. I won't recommend using any of the um, standard ones though. Um, except we can't really change it here. So we'll just keep it at this. That. Uh, we wanna change the frame rate to 24 so we have a bit more flexibility. Our roller units are, sure. And we're gonna just make this the default so it, it will always stay like this. Press OK. Uh, we cannot see the background. Uh, that was a bad idea. You don't wanna make it completely white. Let me just tell you that right now. So the first thing you wanna do is just press Y. Why? Because we're going to change the pencil to a thickness. You're gonna go to custom and you're gonna change the thickness from one to eight. Um, which means that we get this instead of like a hairline. That's pretty nice to have, right gamers? I say gamers too much, don't I? Once we have set everything up, we're just gonna go to window save panel layout and change it to something like i don't know ender's layout why not i always named after myself so i know uh that it's mine <laughs> now we just saved our panel layout which means that if we accidentally um n not move the toolbar ender that's that's not a good idea accidentally do this uh we can just go to um window panel sets ender's layout Everything will be back to normal, except it's not. We want to just go to publish settings. We want to just go to audio stream and set that to raw. Uncheck convert stereo to mono and put it at 44 hertz. Uh, this will make sure that all the audio we insert to our project uh, will not sound like dog shit. Okay, I'm going to insert all of my gamer stuff and I'll be right back. Coasters. Let me show you my animation template real quick. Let's remove all of this. So I make a camera uh, because if you export your video in Flash, huh. it will look like looks this. Looks like it's time for another video again. <laughs> yeah, that's way too loud. Uh, I make this by just simply selecting my pencil color, drawing a square and just change the width to 1920 by 1080. And I'll just lock that at the upper layer, which means that I always have like a kind of a canvas. As you can see, this is where the camera stops, so the viewer won't be able to see this. Actually, a nice little uh, fun fact. Um, I could have made like my intro very detailed, but I um, on purpose made this um, pretty bad quality and this the background is also just a stock image um, just because you know if my intro is really good and my actual content is really bad um, the people will say like hold up you spend all this time on the intro <laughs> instead of on the actual video what the heck is this I need to remake this intro man this looks bad all right I need to I need to calibrate my my pen right now. I don't know if you guys can even see this though. I don't know if what OBS records and whatnot. All right, it's much better calibrated now, but I actually wanna like add this thing here to my character because in none of my videos it's been there. Okay, I've done it in like some, like my profile picture and stuff. But I want to do it in animations too. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So if you want to stay up to date with my videos, you can always subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do it or anything. I'm just, I'm just asking you to, to subscribe kindly. Um, well, yeah, that's it. Um, please be sure to like the video and watch all of the videos that I did with Sebastian. He's a cool guy. I like him. Um, non-sexually. Yeah. All right, so now I have no excuse to uh, not make any more animated videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Um, bye.